With so many churches, schools, and corporations looking to stream their content, I think it's time that we take another look at the Killaview E2. This is Killaview's HDMI NDI HX encoder, and NDI HX is used as a contribution tool for taking cameras and encoding them to NDI for use with switchers like TriCaster, vMix, Livestream, Wirecast, etc. However, unique among the NDI encoders, the Killaview units can also encode to RTMP, HLS, and other formats. So let's take a look at the Killaview E2 and the other encoding formats that it can support besides NDI HX. So what we've done is we've taken the ADA camera here, we're taking the HDMI out of it into the Killaview unit, and on the side here we've got uh, HDMI, we've got our network port, uh, down here we've got power, a couple indicator lights for network activity and function. Uh, we also have an HDMI loop through. And we're taking the NDI out of this, of this camera, which is here, and bringing that into vMix. So we've got our NDI input into vMix of the camera's output. And I'm going to pop into the web UI to give you a quick overview of what the web UI for the E2 looks like. So here we have the dashboard um, has just general system functioning, how much CPU payloads going on, um, what's plugged in, what the resolution is. Uh, we have a picture. So if we're dialing into the web UI remotely, we can see what it sees and it updates that every now and again. So it takes a snapshot every couple of seconds to let you know what's going on right here within the web UI. And then it tells you um, what the different streams are going. So right now what I have is I have um, the RTSP stream, which is actually feeding the NDI HX. Uh, it sounds confusing, but it's actually NDI. Um, we also have uh, SRT and RTMP set up. So what I've done, uh, SRT is for point to point. So if we wanted to send a stream from here to uh, any particular place uh, on the net, um, in this case, I'm sending it um, side by side with the NDI to vMix. So it's going out to our local router and then um, coming back in uh, locally, but just as an example. So if you look here, I'll put them up side by side. So you can see on the left is SRT and on the right is NDI. And you can see there's a little difference in latency between them, but that's fine because SRT is not meant to be a low latency protocol. It's meant to send video reliably over the internet. But um, while SRT is great and cool, what we're looking at today as far as um, the E2 is how to send to platforms like YouTube and Facebook for which we're going to be doing uh, RTMP. So I've added an RTMP stream and I should probably show you the add a stream um, dialog here, which gives you RTMP, SRT, HLS, TSUDP, uh, S proxy and SIP. So those are some of the different options. And right now we have NDI HX, SRT and RTMP going. And if we wanna go through and configure these, we just click the little gear and we say, oh, this is a caller. This is the IP address it's pointing to, the port, et cetera. Or if we're doing RTMP, um, we go into the settings here and we say, you know, go, here's the address that you wanna stream to, which is YouTube. And then over here, I have my actual YouTube stream, which you can see me clicking away at the buttons there and the LED light. So this is our uh, Killaview E2 test stream. They've given us um, an auto-generated key and a destination to go to, et cetera. So we can see that we are in fact all from one box streaming NDI, uh, SRT, and RTMP all from within the uh, Killaview E2. It's a simple enough product. The Killaview E2, it takes HDMI video and turns it into streams of different kinds, whether you're talking NDI HX within your facility, uh, RTMP to any platform that supports that, or SRT from one point to another. The Killaview E2 is kind of a streaming Swiss army knife. So if you have any questions about the product, please check us out at usbroadcast.co. You can check out our Facebook page. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching.